Hello, my YouTube family. Yeah, I wasn't here yesterday. Well, you know Thursdays, right? You know Thursdays pops home. So y'all are going to have to forgive me if I don't record on Thursdays because um, as much as I love you all, pop is blood. And uh, therefore, he will always be extra, extra, extra numero uno. Okay? So, yes, you guys have to take a back seat to Pops, all right? So, uh, yeah, I came home and we just, you know, yappa, yappa, yappa. So, and I don't see him until tomorrow morning because on Friday nights he sleeps over at the job. So, forgive me. I know you will. If you all have kind, beautiful, big hearts, you will. Okay. But I do what I try to do. If I don't give you a recording on... Thursdays, I wear what I wore on that Thursday the next day so I could show you. So you really don't miss out on anything, people. I always have you in mind. Don't worry about it. This is a lovely shade for 99 cents. It's wet and wild, people. This is wet and wild. See, the old-fashioned wet and wild, too. With the old-fashioned packaging and everything. But this one, I guess I've been using it because I was all day long. Cause I this this one is not because it was drying, because I loved it. And I bent it. See? It's all bent and crooked. All bent and crooked. Cause I was all mm. but this is it people. This is number 521A. And I think it's called Fuchsia with Blue Luster or something to that nature. And I, remember I told you that there was an NYC lipstick that I bought that was the dupe for this? Well, apparently I guess I got this one instead because this one was 99 cents. And the Wet n Wild one was a buck 99. Hello? So I think this is Fuchsia with Blue Luster, if I'm not mistaken. But it is... 521A. There it is, people. There it is. And you can see it's got a, a serious blue undertone on it. You can definitely see that. That I mean, you know. Fuchsia with blue luster. And I don't know why my bottom lip is more colorful than my top lip. When it comes to this particular shade, I have no idea. Lovely. And yes, I did line it with my Purple Rain. And I really have to sharpen this bad boy because look at it. Ooh. It was getting to the point where it was, you know, like the, the chalkiness, the, the, the hard part was scraping my lip because I didn't have any more of the actual lip liner left. So I have to sharpen. But yes, NYX Purple Rain with, this is Wet n Wild 521A. So that's lips of the day, people. There you go. There you have it. This Friday felt like a week. It wouldn't go anywhere, people. It would not go anywhere. And I had to say goodbye to my friend because she had to come and finally pick up her stuff. Remember I told you a couple of videos back that... They let her go? Yeah, well, she came back, and she had the opportunity to stop by and say goodbye to me. But we have each other's information, and we'll text each other and, you know, say hi every now and then. Maybe, I don't know, because she lives way out in the island, and I'm here in Queens. Maybe we'll meet up near where the job is and have lunch one day or something like that. Who knows? But it was sad to say goodbye to her. And unfortunately, it wasn't Chatterbox. And here is what Chatterbox said to me. Well, I guess we have to say goodbye to our friend. And I guess that means you're just stuck with me now. But I'll try to be good and I'll try to be nice. And, um, you know, I won't try to get on your nerves. If she only knew that the more she's talking, she's getting on my nerves. But I was like, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, yeah, mm-hmm. Like I said, nice girl. Really, she's nice. 
But the gift of gab, she was blessed with it. <sighs> A little too much. There's nothing to say about cutie. We talk. You, the, you know, the flame is gone now because we're, we're, we're like this. We're friends. We're just friends. There's no crushing on him anymore. I really don't. I mean, I still see him, but I don't do the, I don't do that anymore. I just, I just see him. It's like, hey, how you doing? I don't treat him any differently. He doesn't treat me any differently. We just talk. There's not the, the pitter patter of heart anymore. There's not that for anybody. Booty, I, he could be gone for all I know, and I would have no idea, no clue, because you know Cutie is not going to tell me. Or if he, if he will tell me, he'll tell me with such warped happiness, but he has yet to say anything. So, um, I don't know. Booty could still be, still be available, still be around. I have no idea, because you know he's back downstairs, so I have no idea. Um... GQ, once every six months, apparently. So, um, that's my life right now. At a serious standstill. Nancy's not happy, people. And not nay one of you came to my rescue, because you know I was, I was pleading for your help a few videos back. Anybody, anybody know of a single, fine-looking guy None of y'all. None of y'all. Thank you. Thank you for your help. Okay? Thank you. So I'm on my own yet once again. On to the dating sites we go. 48 years old. I really should just learn to just be one with myself, be happy. And I am. I'm one with myself and I am happy with myself. But... Would it be too much to ask to have somebody to go to a movie with every now and then, talk on the phone, you know, an occasional darling, sweetie, babe would be nice to hear coming in my direction every once in a while, um, and other things as well. Y'all know, um, so, but no. So, uh, what's keeping me quite occupied is my television set. Hello. Um, Scandal. Do any of you watch Scandal out there? Oh, my heavenly sweet Jesus. What? Yesterday's episode? Thank God it wasn't the season finale, because I would have I would have climbed up some walls. I would have been screaming. I would have done something. But there's an episode next week. So, um, yeah. Any of you scandal watchers out there? What? Oh. That's my show. One of many, but that is my show. Um, what else am I watching? Um, Real Housewives of, um, Atlanta. Kim is a hot mess. That's all I have to say. Um, Basketball Wives. I think this one's Basketball Wives Miami. Is it? I don't know. I don't know. It's too many, too many of them to remember. I forget their names. I don't, I forget their names. Um, Jackie, that's one of them. She thinks she's the mama of everybody. And then she's trying to play victim. Like, you know, why does everybody hate me? And I'm just trying to be friends with everybody. And I love everybody. And she gets on my last nerve. Okay, she gets on my last nerve, and I'm sorry, I should be the last to um, criticize people's clothing, but she's wearing clothes that do not fit her. She is trying to squeeze into a size 10 when you know damn well your fat ass is a size 17. Stop it. The girls that you are hanging out with are 20 years younger than you are, and you trying to just blend in as if you're their same age, wearing the same clothes that they do, doing the same things that they do. It's not happening, Chicky. It's not. It's not happening. Trying to fit into jeans that you should know damn well you should not be wearing. Jeans and tops got her boobage showing and all. Oh, stop. 
stop it. Just stop it. She gets on my last nerve, people. Okay, any of you watching the Basketball Wives that I'm talking about. Um, what, other, what other stuff do I, I watch? So many. There's a show called Last Resort. I'm thinking it's not really going to be hanging in there for long. But it's a really good show. It's about the army and um they were in a submarine and it got stranded out into sea somewhere and apparently the out the their government our government is trying to kill them it's very very confusing but it's a good show nevertheless and scott speedman who played in felicity the one that she was in love with i forget the name the character of the name that he played but the actor's name is Scott Speedman. He's, you know, he's a good looking fella. He don't do it for me. But I know he's the one that all the girls go to when they're watching the show. Because, you know, he's in uniform and all of that. But there is another guy on that show who looks like um, Rob Thomas from Matchbox 20. He just sort of reminds me of him for some reason. He's got a haircut that looks sort of semi-like. And he's kind of cute. I would take him over Scott. But I'm just saying um, what other shows can I tell you that I, I watch a lot, people? I watch The View. Um, I DV, DVR most of these shows. And I will no longer be watching X Factor because as of last night, they got rid of my Vino Alon. Not watching it anymore. There's nothing to watch. We all know that that um, the girl, the young 13-year-old, she's going to win it all. Okay? Let me just say that right off the bat. She has got an amazing voice for a 13 year old oh my goodness she is awesome and yes had it come down to her and vino i know she would have won but they got rid of my vino and thank you uh simon cowell who has done something to his face i don't know what the hell is going on there um too much um botox or whatever the case is but he used to have an oval face and now his face is square i don't know what the hell is going on there but, um, yeah, I'm not watching X Factor anymore. It could go on without me. The Voice, I left a long time ago because um, after, I, after we had the blackout for the whole week and power went down and everything, I was losing so many weeks that when we, when we finally had power back on, it was like, okay, I, there's no point. There's no point. So I have dropped The Voice. I have dropped X Factor. And when American Idol comes back next month, I don't even know if I'm going to be watching that. I don't care about Nicki Minaj. I don't care about Mariah Carey. Okay? I just do not care. So that takes care of that situation. Um, What else? What else is there? Lord, I, you know, it's Friday night. I'm trying. I'm just a big chatterbox myself right now. Um, And I'm not hungry or anything. So... And I mailed all my bills. I'm very lightweight right now. And I'm so thrilled to be home. That's why I'm just carrying on the way I am. But I know some of you can probably relate to some of these shows. So I know I'll probably hit I'll probably hit somebody's nerve. And and you know, one of y'all will talk to me about some kind of show. Um, okay. Real Housewives of Atlanta, Real Housewives of Um Beverly Hills. Um, I don't know what's going on with those women. Um, but the, 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 I forgot her name. There's Lisa who had a fight with the blonde chick and Lisa was waiting for the blonde chick, Adrian, Adrian, Adriana or Adrian to apologize to her. And she went around, and around and merry go round, around. And around. Finally, she apologized. And then Adrian was waiting for Lisa to apologize, which I don't understand why, because Adrian really did have to apologize to Lisa. It had all to do with the um, last season's, um, you know, when they get together on the couch with um, Andy Cohen. Well, Adrian had it for Lisa, talked about, you know, accused Lisa of selling stories about her in OK Magazine and all of these other magazines. That sounds like Real Housewives of New Jersey with Teresa, another one I watch, by the way. All the Real Housewives, with the exception of Real Housewives of Miami, gave that one a shot. And I'm like, mm, these girls, do. I'm not feeling them at all. Not nay one of them. I do not like any of them. At least in the other shows, there's at least one or two that I really like. But in the Miami one, not a one. So, ixnay on that one. So, Real Housewives of Atlanta, I watch. Real Housewives of Beverly Hills, I watch. Real Housewives of New York, I watch. Real Housewives of Orange County, 
I watch. So those four, I watch all of them. And I think Orange County should be coming back soon, maybe next month. I think everything is starting up in January again. So we shall see what we shall see. Okay. I think I, I, I watch Fringe, which I think is on tonight, Friday night. I watch that. I don't know what the hell is going on with that show. <laughs> they have lost me. When they went into another dimension and, and when they tried to come back, they're not themselves. And, and then they had a grown daughter, but they themselves did not get old. I Fringe is written, I think, or executive produced by, by the same person that did the X-Files. Now, when the X-Files came out in the early 90s, mid to mid 90s, I think it was, that show was the ish. And then it went off on a tangent. And then they, it finally had to go. This is the same thing that's happened. It's like they jumped the shark and then they don't know what to do. So that is what's happening with Fringe. However, I am hanging in there doing my best to understand what the hell is going on. They've got these dudes with the cat, with the hats, um, ch the shift changers or chain shifters or whatever the hell they are. I don't know what the hell is going on. Yet I continue. I continue to watch. I continue to watch. I'm trying. I'm. I'm seeing if I've covered everything. I think. I, and TMZ. Well, you know, I try to watch that every day. TMZ cracks me the hell up. TMZ cracks me the hell up. Max, the blonde one that every girl is in love with, the dark, the blonde one who's the surfer dude. He is cute. I must admit. But sometimes he is as stupid as a box of rocks. I don't understand it. I don't understand. And then sometimes he'll come out with something really intelligent. I'm like, is that the same person? Because most of the time, most of the time, he just says something just too stupid for words. Because he's all about boobage. And he, I mean, he's young. He's in his 20s or whatever. And, you know, he's gorgeous. And, and he knows he's gorgeous. And, you know, he knows he gets females like this. All they got to do is stand in front of him and drop their panties. That's all they do. Because he's the fine one, okay? So he's the gorgeous one. Me, I happen to like Van, which is the black guy. He is hilarious. I love him to death. I love him to death. Love him. Then there's another guy. He's kind of big. He's not the one that got married and had a baby. The one that sits in front of um, Harvey. No. This one stands in the back, and he's got a cap on. He wears a baseball cap every single day. But he's kind of big. I don't know. Is his name Evan or something? I don't know what his name is. I'm trying to get their names. But they don't say their names that often. So every once in a while. I know Dax is the, the other blonde one. He's married as well. The spiky with the spiky blonde hair. That's Dax. And then there's Max with the blonde long hair. And then there is... um. Van, which I happen to, I love Van. I am crushing on him on in a major way, but I think he could be my son. Anyway, um, there, there, there's some other one. There's the Irish one. He is too cute. He is too cute. His accent is a, is a trip, but he doesn't show up as often. I mean, he'll show up every once in a while, but then you don't see him at all. And then there is, um, oh my God, I forgot his name. But he's the, the other black guy with the dreads. And he, he's like, even with Harvey, like he'll take over when Harvey's on vacation or whatever. Him. I like him too. I know they're all married, most of them. Most of these youngins, they are young. And they are married. I cannot believe it. But they're so cute. They're so cute. And, and the girls are just as funny. So that's, that's my TV viewing, people. That is my TV viewing. I have gone on far too long. I'm sure you guys need are glassy-eyed by this time. Gotta go. I've covered today. I've covered tomorrow. I've covered Sunday. That's how long I've been yapping. All right. So um, I love you. I love my YouTube family. Hit me up and let me know because you know I love these lips. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. And I will talk to you on Monday. Okay. Have an excellent weekend, a safe weekend. I'm going to max and relax. You know that is the truth. And I will talk to you on Monday. Bye now.